Welcome to this short video that introduces Cisco Network Performance Analytics, also called NPA. In this video, we'll look at the challenges facing a network administrator and how NPA can help him improve his workflow and overall network health. I was meeting with a customer's network manager who was sharing a recent business challenge, looking for a solution to make his life a little easier. The other day, my boss comes up to me and says, The network issues the last couple of days really concern me. I'd like for you to provide me a report on our overall network risk exposure. Since most of our gear is from Cisco, I'd also like to get a report on our compliance against Cisco best practice recommendations. I told her that providing such a report at a network level requires a lot of data analysis, and I didn't think that any of our existing network management tools provided that level of insight, but that I'd get back to her with my findings. Does Cisco have anything that could help me out here? Providing such a report does require a lot of data analysis and mathematical rigor to quantify compliance to Cisco recommendations. It will also need to have some sort of scoring algorithm. The good news is that Cisco currently offers a service capability that can address this exact business challenge. We've been doing this for other customers for a while. That's encouraging news. Tell me more. Cisco has a capability called Network Performance Analytics. This is an exception-based reporting tool that analyzes exceptions and deviations across your entire network, from configuration best practice recommendations to software compliance, product lifecycle, custom configuration, and syslogs. Based on this information, we use proprietary algorithms to calculate several key performance indicators, called KPIs, that roll up into an overall index of your network's compliance to Cisco recommendations. These KPIs include a compliance indicator, a risk indicator, and a problem management indicator. These are presented on an interactive web portal that resonates well with management. Besides these indices, this tool also provides an automated network improvement plan, which allows you to view all your network exceptions, which could be numerous, and create projects for tracking purposes. How do I enable this capability, and what is the associated cost? We deliver this through the Network Optimization Service, or NOS, which requires you to sign a contract with Cisco. If you have an existing NOS contract, you get this capability at no additional cost. All you have to do is give Cisco permission to securely import and analyze your data. When we've completed the analysis, we notify you so you can view the results on the interactive web portal. It would probably be best for me to demonstrate it to you. To get started with Network Performance Analytics, you'll need a NOS service contract, a Cisco.com ID with NPA rights so you can log into the NPA portal, and a Cisco Common Service Platform Collector and the Collector's Deployment Guide. The first step is to deploy a network collector. The collector is a key on-site device that collects inventory, configurations, syslog, and CLI data in support of service deliverables. The collector runs on a Cisco-owned platform installed on the network. The collector uploads data gathered from the customer network to Cisco for analysis by Cisco services. It retrieves appropriate device data, including configs and syslogs, and sends it to Cisco services for use in generating reports and audits. Results are used to proactively provide Cisco service deliverables, including reports and executive summaries made available through the interactive web portal. Upon successful login, you will start at the executive dashboard. This dashboard is meant to be shared with your management during quarterly business reviews. It provides an overall index known as the Network Performance Index, which tracks your alignment to Cisco best practices and several other key performance indicators, also known as KPIs. The Network Performance Index, known as NPI, is computed by analyzing all network exceptions. It scores between 0 and 100. A higher score means better compliance to Cisco's recommended best practices. This score is also color-coded green, yellow, or red. The NPI score is the average of three other indicators compliance, risk, and problem management. These allow you to focus on the aspects of your network which are prone to network disruptions. In your case, you can start with either compliance or risk. What goes into the KPI calculations? For example, configuration best practices, custom configurations, and software compliance roll up into the Compliance Management KPI. Hardware EOX and field notices and P-certs roll up into the Risk Management KPI. 
syslog and audit results roll up into the problem management KPI. These three KPIs roll up into the overall network performance index score. Please note that exceptions and attributes are weighted to reflect customer priorities, and individual devices can be weighted and prioritized per customer needs. The Network Performance Index Trend Dashlet displays a trending graph of NPI score and improvement plans over a period of time to measure your progress. You can vary the time window for which you are viewing the data by moving the small triangles at the bottom of the graph from left to right. The slider bar allows you to scroll that time window back and forth within the saved data. Customers can add comments to the trending chart by clicking the green dialog button to the lower right of the chart, then selecting a date for which they wish to insert the comment, entering the comment, and clicking OK. In this example, comment E was added to the trend dashlet to explain the sudden drop in the NPI score. The Business Service Analytics Dashlet displays a top-level grouping of Cisco devices based on customer requirements. It is a business-related view of top-priority initiatives within the organization based on geographical location, business unit, or a particular technology. In this sample data, there are four projects being tracked for executive review. These scores, as weighted by the customer in NCE, roll up into the Key Performance Indicator scores. The Network Maturity Benchmarking Dashlet displays a high-level graph that indicates the relative positioning of a particular customer with respect to their peers in the same vertical based on two parameters, operational maturity and technology maturity. The currently chosen customer's position is marked by a light blue sphere in the chart, with the remaining gold spheres representing the peers. Okay, so I've got these scores. What would I do next? Start with the KPIs that have the greatest impact to your business. You can start that process by leveraging the Automated Network Improvement Plan to track exceptions, alerts, and issues impacting your network. The Network Improvement Plan is a powerful productivity tool that helps you manage your exceptions through project management. It enables you to sort, filter, and examine line item exceptions and recommendations, as well as prioritize and track those that are most important to your business. The top 10 summary chart provides a summarized view of the network improvement plan exceptions based on the top 10 by count in the selected area. By default, the bar chart is sorted by exception count. To view the data as a table, click the grid icon. The status overview shows a line graph of the current and new resolved exceptions in the network improvement plan, summarized by date. This data can also be viewed in a table format by clicking the grid icon. The biggest productivity enabler in the Network Improvement Plan is probably the Exception Browser Filter. By clicking the icon at the top left, you open this tool. This filter allows you to home in on the exceptions most critical to you. Once assembled in the Exception Browser, you can act upon the listed exceptions, such as setting up projects to track them or exporting their data in CSV format for further manipulation in Microsoft Excel. For example, let's say you want to pull together a list of exceptions that have something to do with ISIS. You can use the search tool to create a search string that will be applied to all exception attributes currently listed in the exception browser. To undo the search, click the Undo Search icon, which resets the exception browser to show all exceptions again. You can also select multiple attributes for a single filter using the category selection checklists. The three main checklist categories are exception information, which includes priorities, criticalities, and KPIs, inventory, which includes things like product IDs, device groups, host names, and other network information, and project management, which includes project names, status, and other project-related information. For instance, let's search for exceptions that are a high customer priority in a group called Routers, that are currently included in a project called Risk Management. You then click the Preview icon to filter the Exception Browser.
Once you've assembled the list of exceptions, you can focus your efforts on them. In the Exception Browser, you can show and hide columns, make global edits to the exceptions, sort, and export their information to Excel. To export, click the Export Line Items icon to the lower left of the Exception Browser list. This submits a request to have the selected exceptions data converted to CSV format for download at a later time. A confirmation window appears, instructing you where to go in the user interface to check on the progress of your export requests or download the exports that are ready. Each night, or whenever it is scheduled, the system processes the latest data during the profiling window. All of the work done to remediate exceptions and any changes made to the system get propagated and scores recalculated. Please note that during this profiling window you cannot make further changes but can view the data in the system. After the latest profiling window you can see the results in the Network Performance Index. Think of NPA as a powerful tool that facilitates the dialogue between you, your Cisco engineer, and your management, all while allowing you to focus on the things that have the most impact to your business. This sounds great, so let's get started on the sign-up process. It will be my pleasure.